Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn HA configuration. So basically HA configuration means that we are focusing on high availability. This high availability is very much recommended and highly used in the production environment because we cannot afford to down our services for a time, right? So if any of the firewall, let us suppose this firewall goes down, so instantly this traffic will be shifted to another four firewall. So this type of scenarios are called as the high availabilities. Means that because of this redundancy, we can say, we are using two firewalls. Obviously the cost will be a bit high, but in order to make high availability, we have to afford the cost. Some of the user or terminologies are like cluster. We also call them as, as a cluster configuration. Basically, this was used in checkpoint firewall, but uh, this is also like well-known type of thing. So that's why I want to tell this word. So these are both the things are same. Either we say as a high availability or we say them as, as a cluster. So rather than jumping to the configuration of the HA, or we can say the high availability. Let me just tell you a little theory about this one, because if you don't know the theory and you simply jumping the configuration of the HA, then it will be really difficult for you. So let's just uh, go to the theoretical part first, that uh, what are the technologies or the things running behind this uh, HA configuration. So let me go to my desktop and uh, explain you the theory. Let's take one simple scenario, like we are having the two firewalls. Let us suppose this is our PA1 and this is PA2. So in order to make high availability or the HA configuration pair, the first thing like the, let's take a simple scenario, like uh, this can be your internal zone or let us suppose this is like internet here there might be a switch this way right so and here it can be your internet so here also you can take as a l3 switch or l2 whatever you want and the connectivity is like this means that from here this can be your internal network and at the top it can be an internet and in order to make these firewalls PA1 and PA2 in HA, the very first condition is that they should be the same PAN OS. PAN OS means that whatever the operating system they are running on the firewalls. So it can be like 9.1 or 9 point, uh, 10 point something or 8.2 or 4. So but uh, right now we are running like uh, Pan OS versions of 9.1 and 10, even more are have come to or has been released. But in order to work to a HA pair, they must be or of the same version. Another thing, like whenever we are connecting two of the firewalls, they must be connected with each other. So we connect them using the HA ports. So once we connect uh, to each other, for that one, we can use the dedicated HA ports. We call them as an HA1 or HA2, not or HA1 and HA2. So for HA1 also, we can use an main link and backup link. For HA2 also, we can use the main link and the backup links. So here HA1, this is used for the control traffic control traffic synchronization so control traffic basically comes like policies right policy synchronization objects synchronization so whatever the values will be here on the pa1 they will be synced to the pa2 another thing like ha2 this is used for session information like whatever the sessions are running on one of the firewall they will be transported to the next another firewall whatever the peer firewall so we can say that this if this is an active firewall 
and this can be like in a standby or we can say passive so in that case what is going to happen that the session information will be shared from active to uh, passive one not the same with all the words are same active or standby or active or passive so whenever we are configuring these things then there are like uh, two modes of configuration are there the first one is active passive another way is active active so in case of active active both the firewalls these pa1 and pa2 will be sharing the traffic it can be type of load balancing means that the traffic will be traveling from this as well as well as from this so and the another way is like an active passive in case of like active passive only one of the firewall let us suppose uh, pa1 so pa1 is sending the traffic it will be tracking the traffic and this uh, pa2 will be on the passive state it will be just watching the traffic that whatever will be traveling or passing through the pa1 and at the same time we use this ha2 link here for the session information so this whatever the traffic is running or the sessions are maintained on this pa1 firewall or palo alto 1 firewall they will be instantly sent to the pa2 so whenever it's type of like whenever we configure this active passive there are also in case of active passive we have the two config type of the configuration one is like session less another one we can say session oriented or we can say another terms as stateless and stateful is the better term stateful and stateless so whenever we are configuring the stateful in stateful what is happening that the session information is continuously being sent to this pa2 firewall so in case that pa2 firewall fails or instantly pa2 firewall picks the sessions and they start sending the traffic because it has the session information whatever was running on the pa1 but in case you have configured as an stateless in that case this ha2 links does not work or the session information is not shared from pa1 to pa2 and by chance the failover occurs by because of anything then what is going to happen instantly whatever the sessions are there sessions are there means that uh, you are accessing any of the website let us suppose you are connected to the, any of the banking website and you will be logged out of that one because session will be disconnected you will be instantly uh, logged out all the connections whatever are the running they will be dropped and the if you hit again that uh, website you will be redirected from this way but whatever will be running that will be instantly stopped but yeah outage will not be there but yeah for the it will be like whatever was running that will be stopped so this type of configuration we have the stateful and stateless now the question comes that uh, when the failover will happen right so there are uh, multiple criteria to go for failover uh, let's take a diagram once again so let's say this is our firewall one and uh, this is our firewall two all right and uh, they are having the two links ha1 and ha2 this is the way this can be your internal and uh, above can be your internet or we can say the external zone now the question comes that when this failover will occur so in order to monitor that failover what we are having there is a concept of heartbeat so for the same time like for every 1000 millisecond and heartbeat message is being sent to from active firewall to passive firewall from here to there so passive firewall if is receiving the response okay i am getting an heartbeat messages it means that active firewall is working very fine 
but by chance what is going to happen if any way our passive firewall misses or it does not receive any hurt bit messages three three hurt bit messages are missed and uh, then it declares that okay i'm not receiving any hurt bit message from the peer firewall it means that there are chances that uh, my active firewall is not working well right so it declares other firewall as a dead that my active firewall is dead and it declares self as an active firewall so now there are chances that this link is down and uh, still uh, our active firewall is working right active one is active but because of this link is down we are declaring or the passive firewall is declaring the other firewall is dead now what is going to happen in that case both the firewalls can be active or may become active so this is like very strange situation and uh, both the firewalls will be thinking that uh, i am the active one so to avoid these type of scenarios this was very like a dangerous situation and uh, to avoid this situation what we do uh, we are sending the heartbeat messages via h1 and we can also send configure it to send it via the internal configuration as well so there are two paths can be or we can also say that ha and one and ha one backup link will be there to send the, these heartbeat messages so we should avoid these one right so the one concept is like one of the that like we are not receiving the heartbeat message or actually the active firewall goes down so that is the one scenario another scenario it can be like uh, one of the port goes down right let us suppose this port goes down so we can monitor this port that if this port goes down for the active one but this is active in that case also the failover will happen another concept we can configure that is a path monitoring that any uh, destination server we can keep pinging right and we can monitoring that destination that if that destination is reachable via that path then we will keep that as active but if that destination is not reachable via this path then the failover will happen so there are three scenarios the first one is like ha missing that we are not miss uh, like ha is not received or the other peer firewall is dead second option is like uh, link monitoring link monitoring is the case that whenever any of the interface is down let us suppose this interface and the third case is like path monitoring so path monitoring is like uh, any of the destination is down now the next thing comes like who which fire of the firewall will be active and which of the firewall will be the passive so for that concept we are having the like concept of priority so whoever whichever the firewall is having the highest priority highest priority means that lower numerical value just keep these words very carefully highest priority means lower numerical value if you see any of the documentation of the palo alto firewall then you will see these terms so what these means basically that uh, let us suppose the priority of the pa1 firewall is 100 and uh, priority of the pa2 let us suppose this is pa1 and this is pa and here the priority is 110 right so this is lower numerical value lower numerical value means we will treat this this is the high priority and uh, this pa1 will be declared as active firewall and the same other peer firewall will be the passive one this will be our passive firewall so these are the things related to the firewall and uh, this is going to be a quite long session so i don't want to stretch it too long uh, i will just stop here and uh, i will record the lab session or the configuration in the next session as of now
okay so we'll i will jump to these uh, firewalls and uh, configure the ha configuration from this pa1 firewall to pa2 firewall right so and uh, then we'll try to reach from here to there and then we will uh, take a uh, do a failover manual failover we will switch off any of the device or suspend any of the device and we will just check that how the traffic is shifted to another one and we will also observe that uh, are we having any packet loss or not so that's what uh, i'm not going to cover in this session otherwise it will be like uh, quite long uh, let's uh, hold on uh, for some time and i will record another uh, session for this configuration okay all right guys see you soon in the next session and if you like these things uh, just don't forget to mention in the comment section or like it all right guys see you soon bye bye